Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. A motor tour to some people is just a motor tour, but to the Blooms it becomes a grand mixture of excitement, adventure, and a little trouble thrown in for good measure. The other day it was Indians, movie Indians in Arizona, but finally everyone has arrived safely in the movie capital, Hollywood. Mama and Papa have rented an apartment, as have Yetta, Sarah, and their husbands, Sidney and Harold. Right now, Mama is a little excited because she's going to visit a movie studio. A visit made possible through Mr. Dearborn, the director of the picture whose Indians so frightened Mama and Papa. Mama is talking to Papa. Jake! Jake, where are you, Jake? Don't play hide and go find when I'm in a big hurry. Jake! All right, Becky, all right. I'm right here. I'm only looking at the apartment we have rented. Yeah, it's a very nice place. Yeah, <laughs> nice place. Why don't they put wallpaper on the walls? Jake, be satisfied. Why should you want wallpaper? Should it be like the paper we had in New York? The paper in the bedroom that made you dizzy when you got up in the morning. <laughs> you picked that paper, Becky. Well, it was fine on the roll. Yeah. But when the room was filled with it, the big flowers was a little too red. Yeah. <laughs> and why don't they have beds in this apartment that stay on the floor instead of going up in the vault? Jake, every place you go, it's something different. Out here, it's beds in the vault. And look, we got palm trees right in the front yard. Even the hotels in New York ain't got real palm trees. Yeah, that's right. Say, Mama will be paying extra for the trees. Uh, you should not always be asking about... How much are we paying? Well, I just ask because I like to keep everything straight. Yeah, you just ask because you like to worry about uh, it. But, um, you're on a vacation, Jake? Yeah. On a vacation, you gotta spend money. People won't think you're having a lovely time. <laughs> well, I won't be. Mm. Well, just the same, I like this apartment. Maybe we'll get a bigger one later on. One with a hole in the middle of the building, with a wall around it and a fountain in the hole. Yeah, and then, you know what? <laughs> You'll wanna buy goldfish. <laughs> All right, Pop, all right. We'll stop talking about apartments. We like this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Maybe. <laughs> we'll wait until it rains, and then we'll see how the roof is. Don't be foolish, Jake. It never rains in California. Yeah. Don't be foolish, Mama. If it don't rain, how do things grow? Am I a farmer that I should be answering questions like that? Put on your shoes, Jake. My shoes? What for? Papa, just because you're on a lovely vacation, it's no reason you should go around like a toy mite. I... Like a what, Mama? A toy mite, a man who don't wear shoes and lives by himself. You mean a whole mite. All right. <laughs> You're giving me ideas. Why should I put on my shoes? I'm telling you, Papa, that we are going to visit our studio where they are making movies. Yeah, Mama, but why? We are not playing Ask Me Some More that you should stand there like Isidore Rabin, the lawyer. Wear the nice shoes with the black and white leather and the white pants. Mama, please. Please, Mama, I'm on a vacation. So I gotta dress like something for my sample book. I don't want to visit the movie studios. Jake, do you want I should go alone? Oh, Mama, of course not. I don't want you should go alone, but <laughs> why do you have to go today? Because you don't put up until the next day what is happening now. <sighs> Mama, Mama, when you talk like that, I don't know what you're saying. And pretty soon I'm agreeing with everything you say. I promised Mr. Dearborn that we would visit his studios today. Should we tell him a lie, huh? I didn't promise him. I did, Jake. <laughs> I see. All right, Mama, for you, I'll do it. Are the children going? Yes, and Sarah are going to meet us there. And Sidney and Harold? And Sidney and Harold. 
So I'm on a vacation and still I gotta look at them. Oh, Papa, you should be ashamed. Sidney and Harold married to our daughters. They are very lovely boys. Yeah. And smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't they think of the uniform? Sure, sure. Didn't they bring the man in who bought the knee pants factory, lock, stock, and top? No. He bought it. Oh, I. <laughs> but it was you, Mama. You who found out who he was. Well, that was very lucky, Jake. It's like I'm saying. Sometimes we work and work for something, and then we don't get it. But all of a sudden, something else happens that's very lucky. <laughs> Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. I am saying that Sidney and Harold is smart boys because they brought them in. Even if he was trying to pull the wolf over our hide. All right. All right, so they're smart boys. And we're going to visit a movie studio today. Mel, what are we going to do there? You're still asking questions, aren't you? are still asking questions. And I'm still not answering them when I don't know the answers. I guess we are just going to look around. I know that, Mama. I know that, but why? Papa, you are being very aggravating to me. And so we shouldn't get into our argument. We should go now. Tie the shoelaces, Papa. You're going to put on a coat. All right, Becky. All right. Just give me a little more time. Becky, it's so hard to bend over. Oh, there you should be. Oh, so, there. There you are, Becky. Now I am very uncomfortable. That means I'm ready to go out. You look very nice, and yeah. I don't... Be What's that, Mama? The doorbell? I don't know, Jake. Maybe you better give a look. Well, <laughs> come on, then. We're going out that way anyway. Hi, Ma. Oh. Hello, Pa. Greetings. Yeah, that's... Uh, what are you doing here? You are supposed to meet us at the studios. We have to wait now until you get there. <laughs> of course not, Ma. <laughs> we thought we'd drop by a little early and I, pick you up. I don't see Sydney and Harold. <laughs> Maybe they're not going. They went on ahead. They had a little shopping to do. Oh, that's nice. So we'll all go together. In your car. Uh, Sydney and Harold have got yours. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, you all ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake, yeah. lock the door. I'm locking it, can't you see? Come out of here. Oh, mm. it's so lovely out here. I'd like to live out here always. It's very nice. I like New York. Papa, why is it that when you are away from something, you like it better than when you are with it? Sydney and Harold got me into that habit. All right, get in the car. <laughs> You're an old bear today, Pa. But his bite isn't nearly as bad as his bark. Sarah, your papa's not a dog. You shouldn't talk that way about him. Who should he bite? Bite, right, dog, bark. What difference does it make? I don't want to close the door on your fingers, so get in, Becky. Oi. Oh, I can hardly wait. Just imagine seeing how movies are made. We ought to be glad you ran into those Indians that day. Please, Sarah, you shouldn't be glad about that. Your papa and me was very scared. Turn right at the next street, Pa. Don't be like Mama yet. I know the way. Like you did in Arizona, Pa? <laughs> <laughs> now, please, please, you don't make fun with Papa. I, uh, Papa, you went past the street. It's a wonder I'm still driving the car. All right, all right. I'll turn around and go back to the street. Pa, huh? oh, look out! You don't make a turn like that. You should... Uh, uh, well, Papa did make a turn like that, though. Oh, there it is. There's where the studios are. Excello Pictures Corporation. Hurry up, Paul. I have already got three traffic tickets. Am I making a collection? No, Jack. Three tickets is plenty for the first week we're here. I wonder if we can drive right in. I hear they're awfully strict about letting anyone in the studios. But we got an insulation. Invitation, Ma. Well, Mr. Dearborn told us we could come in to see him and the studios. I don't see Sidney and Harold. We couldn't have gotten here before they did. Sidney and Harold are probably making a picture already. Oh, Pa, you'd better not drive right in. Oh, I don't think you should, Pa. There's a man waving us to a stop. Hello? Hi, you. Uh, you looking for someone? Oh, yes. Oh, that is... We, we got... were invited here. Oh, yeah. You got a pass? A pass? Yeah, you have to have a pass to get in. Oh, Mr. Dearborn invited us. Oh, I see. Well, I'll... Hello there. It's all right, Ed. These people are my guests. Oh, here's sir, Mr. Dearborn. <laughs> Mr. I Dearborn. thought you might have a little <laughs> trouble out here, so I walked out. Ed, uh, park the car for these people. Sure, yes. Sir. We'll walk from here. We'll be able to see more as we go along. Hey, right this way. <laughs> Oh, what are those buildings? Uh, sound stages. Bill, ain't that interesting? Sound stages. What is a sound stage? Why, uh, that's where we shoot pictures. Oh. Uh, where do you make them? Well, <laughs> Mrs. Bloom, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Ma, making and shooting mean the same thing. Sure, sure, Mama. When you make a picture, you shoot it. Isn't that right, Mr. Dearborn? That's right, Mr. Bloom. <laughs> oh, look. Those people over there in costume. What picture is that? That? Oh, the shooting script is called Hearts Corralled. 
But we're deciding on a tentative title of uh, Love Comes to the Dude Ranch. We'll probably release the picture as Love and Law Don't Mix. What is the name of the picture? <laughs> Very funny, Mrs. Bloom. Very funny. <laughs> Mama, you shouldn't <laughs> ask questions when we are being told something. Papa. Yes, Mama? I don't know what the man is talking about. Becky, the man is talking about making pictures, and it's very interesting. I don't think I like it because I'm being very muzzled. Puzzled. I still don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, but we'd lost you. Now, if you'll come over this way, we'll show you something else. Yeah, this is a great business, Mr. Bloom, a great business. Nothing like it to keep a man moving. Moving pictures. <laughs> I see. Oh, Ma, I hope you didn't mean that. <laughs> very funny. I'll make a note of it and use it later on. But as I was saying, Mr. Bloom, this is really a great business. I've been in it for 15 years, and I feel like a kid. Something doing all the time. Yeah? And just between you and me, there's money to be made. Papa's retired. Mama, why do you have to say that? Should I say you're not when you are? Well, never mind. Here we are. We're just in time to see the rushes. Rushes? Is it lunchtime? What a sense of humor. Say, I'm getting <laughs> worried about Sidney and Harold. So am I. They should be here. You should worry about Sidney and Harold. Rather, you should worry about the moving picture business. <laughs> oh, uh, you didn't buy any uniforms today, did you, Mr. Dearborn? Uniforms? Eh? Why, why no? Why? Nothing. <laughs> but anything is liable to happen. Well, um, here's the projection room. You see, uh, Mrs. Bloom, after every day of shooting, we run off what we call rushes, uh, takes, or scenes that we've shot. In that way, we can get an idea of how the whole picture will turn out. You mean we're going to see some actual films of pictures you made today? Well, just part of them, but that's the general idea. Oh, where are Sidney and Harold? They're missing all the interesting things. <laughs> For once, they're left out in the cold. It's not cold in California, Jake. Ah, for Harold and Sidney, it is. I'll call the gate and leave word for them to come here when they arrive. Excuse me. Papa. Yes, Becky? Why was the man telling you how wonderful the movie business is? Mommy, you should ask me riddles. How do I know? Maybe he's just uh, friendly. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm just suspective. Yeah, right? it's all set. As soon as they come in, they'll come right here. All right, Bill, let's have the rushes. All right. The sound is dubbed in later. Oh, uh, these are rushes of the picture we worked on this morning. Mama! It... Yeah, Sarah! Papa, what's the matter? Look, those two schlamils. Oh, my goodness! Uh, what's the matter? Oh, my, dear. my, ain't that uh, nice? Sidney and Harold already have got themselves in the movies. And in the rushes, too. Uh, 